Hi guys, this is Baska Berry. In the last scenario, you have seen how to use unconnected lookup transformation. In this scenario, I am going to show you how to use update else insert property in session level at the session level. So let's start with the demo. I have taken these two tables: source s underscore company and t underscore company. What I am going to do is I am going to load this data into the t uh, company for the first initially. So let's start with the designer. I've already imported the table, source table and target table. Let's me let me create a mapping for this. Update insert demo. I'm typing. Okay. Dry and drop the employment. Sorry, I don't want employment. I want uh, company table okay and the target before this let me add an expression to show you when it has been created when it has been updated try and drop everything here add a new ports one is like created on as a date time it's not input port it's just uh, I'm going to give the system date which is present in the built-in variables okay add one more port for the updated date it's not the input port it's uh, again writing an expression same thing I'm giving built in sys date well it successfully sorry I was cancelled I think sys date ok apply this ok auto link by name ok it has mapped automatically save this create a workflow manager for this workflow go to workflow manager and create workflow workflow insert update demo ok create a sessions to use the mapping which we created L update insert demo ok go to here go to the mapping tab click on the source qualifier here uh, change the um, connections from Oracle to the source DV okay and in the target we are changing it to the target DB here we are changing the sum of the properties at the session level which we told see we are giving it as uh, update else insert we are clicking on this option what does this option do for us why we use this option actually if uh, source record doesn't exist in the target table then insert otherwise what it does if the source record is already present in the target then update existing uh, records with the source record so that it reduces the time but there are some drawbacks I'll just let you know what is that click on these options and apply go to the properties here we have a target source rows as insert instead of that change it to the as an update source okay connect this both through connector I've connected save this and run the task so it's running here it has successfully succeeded let me check in the target table okay if you see that all the rows has been uh, loaded which is there present in the source to target since in the first attempt there was no rows uh, in the target table so it would have inserted all the row, 5 rows if you see the created data and updated data are same so what we do let me add one record in the source table and let me change this 
do so if you check on the source now we have one record uh, like extra record i um, sixth record and we have modified the ibm address to nagvara so let me check with that final table so you can see the difference here this is nagvara and this is hebal and the sixth record is not present so let me run one more time what we'll see what happens now okay now you can see this there are six records uh, present and the address field has been updated but if you see this created data and update updated date it's all has been uh, same since this is the main drawbacks of this uh, even though if you change one of the part one column one particular field in the column the entire except the primary key all the rows will be updated automatically Uh, this is the main drawback here we can't update the specific column in the target even though if the source record present in the target there is no change in between the source and target it will mark for the update that's the only drawback to take care of this uh, thank you for watching please do subscribe